Hello everyone, Ken and Louie here, getting back to Resident Evil 1 Remake. And I definitely have taken an extended break from this game, so I'm looking forward to getting back into it. So firstly, um, I'm not sh uh, when, when I loaded up my save I had the grenade launcher in here, I'm not exactly sure um, what I needed that for. But I have put that in the stash as well as uh, the ink ribbon. So, shotgun, handgun, and the control room key. So last time we went in this room to get the control room key. So it's either for this room or this room and, and everything. So let's get started. And unfortunately, because of me messing up this puzzle, um, I'm going to take damage on the way back. Unfortunately, that's kind of unavoidable, so... That was definitely one thing that irritated me when I first came across it, that I had to... that it was kind of hard to know to do that without prior knowledge. So it is locked. The door plate reads gallery. Interesting. So that must mean that this staircase leads to the control room. And I'm not 100% sure if I should really have the shotgun out or the handgun out. So how exactly am I doing this? Okay, there we go. All right. There's a ladder here. Climb down. Well, it's the it's the only way to go. Aqua Ring B1. Oh man, the the music here <laughs> is amazing. I don't. S it says that there's an item in here, but I'm, I'm not seeing any. Okay, there's a box, so let's... Quite a few boxes, actually. Locked from the other side, okay. Oh, okay. So... I just kind of want to make sure that I don't mess this up. Unfortunately, I might find a way to do so anyway. Jill's getting her strength training in today. Oh, 
Oh, do I need that last box? I didn't think I did, but... Only one way to find out. Because I watched uh, Roa Mithril's Let's Play that I've mentioned before uh, all those years ago, I do believe this next area has sharks in it. So I am kind of aware of that beforehand. So I can definitely see where this is going, I think. And I don't think you can actually kill the sharks either, so... But of course this is the remake version, so... Which means run! If you can! I don't think you can get rid of them, so... Well, might as well use that. I mean, you might be able to get rid of them. Oh, come on. Here we go. But it's probably not worth the ammunition to do so. Okay, yeah, uh... I didn't come equipped for that. <laughs> so... <laughs> wasting shotgun shells, very good. Um... I am gonna need my grenade launcher. For this, if I'm pretty sure. That's not what I meant to do. But at the same time though, in the original, I think you needed to make a chemical or something to actually make it so you can kill it, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Use the control room key. Yes, please. So I have one more inventory space. Very good. Another flight of stairs, huh? Well, okay, that doesn't help me. Said that there was an item in here, so... Use the light switch. Yeah, there's got to be something on this floor, right? I 
I mean, I could be completely uh, missing it. Unless it's on this floor. The controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. Okay. Camera? Camera? <laughs> Ah, uh, I thought that was an item box. That would have been really useful. Well, I'll take it. So, the locked room has another staircase. Oh, okay. It says that there's another item in here, though. Unless it's in the hallway, which I guess I wouldn't be completely surprised. No, I mean, examine. Okay, not bad. Uh, I hope I'm not going to be needing that, but I probably will. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I don't want to be swimming with the sharks, thanks. Um, did I get everything? Okay, I did. Then, Because uh, I can clearly go here uh, if I had the right key. No, that was locked from the other side. So that means that's what this is to go back up without being fish food. But I don't have any other ways of draining the water, do I? Not that I can think of. Huh. I don't know, to me this is kind of bizarre. I think I need to defeat the plant, which is what the incendiary grenades are for, but at the same time, I don't see how that would help me. I am just completely confused right now. Because <laughs> I can't open this without getting rid of the water. Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Is there... Is there anything I can do down here for the water? Well, yeah, I know it's working in proper order, but... Something appears to have gone wrong while the water is being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Yes. Emergency! Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. 
locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. That that shark did get me. <laughs> Okay, that must mean I Reaching have to... 30% of pressure threshold. Yeah, I see the lever right there. Stop it. Um, okay, where's the safety thingy? Pressure lost, shelter operation terminated. What? How, how am I supposed to deal with that? Okay, oil pressure then release the safety. I mean, yeah, but how, how do I do that? 70% of pressure threshold. Come on, the stupid safety. I w I w uh, um I was not expecting that <laughs> whatsoever to say the least. Oh man. And that unlocked the next door. Yes. Wow. Okay, I I will admit that was that was definitely nerve-wracking. <laughs> Uh, so now I can go in here. Um, the real question is, do I want to go in there yet? I might want to see what the plant is doing. Grenade shells? Yes. I will definitely take those. If dynamite is soaked beyond use, then how do the grenades 
work. Um, okay. Whatever, I'll take it. Okay, and just unlocking this door so I can get back. Oh, and there's even some ammo here. Will you take the Magnum rounds? Okay, I am very glad that I finished that puzzle to get the Magnum, but at the same time that caused nearly irreversible brain damage, so... Indeed, um... So now I can go back there. Very good. I really want to check on the plant though. Now that I'm up here. And there doesn't seem to be any zombies, but at the same time... Oh, okay, well that's... <laughs> That's why that is there. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I didn't think about that. Draining the water, you can't cross by using the blocks. No, really. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Put that music, though is perfect. I was thinking if there was a way to get rid of the plant then I won't take damage every time I try to go back to the item box which uh, yeah and of course I was right next to the door oof Don't tell me I need to kill that. Or can I just walk around it? Okay. Okay, the plant is still there. Now, I'm really not sure if the sharks actually can damage you when they're on the ground like that. I'm guessing not. Not that I want to get close enough to find out, but... Um... But I don't really... see why that would be the case. But you never know.
I do want to see what is next over here. I really do want to get rid of that plant. But, at the same time, I don't want to go back to the item box and then lose health for no reason. So I'm going to see what's in here. And of course this area does have an item in there. Which means I'm going to have to go back anyway. Dang it. Backtracking, yes. Honestly, I kind of find this place really fascinating because throughout the beginning of the game you were only dealing with zombies and everything. And that was, well, I guess besides the dogs, I guess, to a degree. That was pretty much the extent of, of what you would be facing. And then, and then they go from that to having an aquarium with sharks? Like, what? <laughs> and I am glad that this area doesn't really have a huge amount of enemies. I mean, I'll take it. So yeah, with the boxes you're supposed to basically climb over them. But I messed that up. So yeah. I think that was pretty much it for me to grab, personally. Um... And the self-defense gun, I I really don't see the point in using that. Because uh, unless it's like a one-shot kill, like the one bullet that's in it just isn't going to be useful whatsoever. So that is interesting. Uh... I mean, I should probably save after that. Let me see here. So there's just that one area which probably has a key in it. 
I mean, it has to. It's the only room I don't that I have access to that doesn't give me anything. Um, um I'm actually gonna save. Uh, I mean, I have eight ink ink ribbons, so it's not like I'm in dire need of not saving. So very good. Um, honestly, I've been really... I was kind of worried about how annoying the sharks would be um, just by looking at them, but to be honest they weren't really an issue at all. Uh, you can get into the control room very quickly and you're probably gonna hit get hit only once or twice by them so it's kind of interesting um, overall I just love the the tone of that of the aqua ring area and the feel of it like it's just completely different from everywhere else that the game has uh, shown so far because, I mean, the, court sh the, the courtyard feels more or less like an extension of the mansion, as you would expect. Like, it doesn't really feel as unique, I guess. And the mansion itself more or less feels like an introductory area, as it kind of should. Um... But overall, like, good stuff right here. So I'm actually going to put this back and I'm going to <laughs> continue on for, for a little bit today. <laughs>